Today's task is all about Piet Mondrian, who was a Dutch painter in the 20th century. You're going to use various materials that you might have around the house to create your own version. The materials that you're going to use on your piece of paper are any paper you can find, like you can see here, as well as perhaps some desk type materials like colour pencils or pens. You can see even a highlighter, a ruler would help and some black pens. Fold the top corner of a piece of A4 paper across so it lines up with the side. Then fold the back remaining piece up behind it. Use your nails perhaps to sharpen the edge and you can remove that tail of the piece of paper. The bit you've just folded over full stop. You now should be left with a really nice perfect square to begin your artwork. Using a pencil and hopefully a ruler or you could also use the side of a box or a long book. Draw a grid across your page and up and down using straight lines. Try to keep the lines in between parallel and if you want you can measure that if you want to be exact. Here what we are doing is just making one large square in the middle you might want to use a rectangle but one large shape in the middle and then a select and we're just dividing up the remaining sections randomly into a collection of large rectangles and squares. Now take whatever tools you have, in this case colour pencil, to colour in each box, but not every box. We're using colour pencil here to fill this box with a nice flat colour red. And then even a highlighter, as you can see, can be used to fill boxes with colour. It's important just to kind of keep your colour very flat so it doesn't go from a dark tone to a light tone and even in this case a light grey can be achieved by using a normal pencil. Please don't colour in all the boxes and don't follow any particular pattern. Just look back at the Mondrian and get inspiration from there. Have a look at this fun way of even using colourful clothing to create a Mondrian. To start with, take a black t-shirt or a dark coloured t-shirt, fold in the arms and to create a large rectangle. Now just fold your colourful fabric and place them on top in whatever way you can arrange into small squares or rectangles Remember to leave a black gap in between, as you can see here. And we've gone for red, white and blue. And also some nice accents of yellow. Place them inside the black background or the dark background. So you have a black frame all around it. 